Hello, hello, and welcome here on YouTube, and welcome to part two of me making collages in this envelope book. And uh, I will put a link below in the description box with part one, where I made the book construction itself of envelopes. So you can see how I put that together. And uh, I have decided that the subject for this book would be um, fungus and mushrooms and so. And I tell you all about this in, in part one. So please go back and look at that first if you have just hidden this video here. Um, yeah, by the way, my name is Lisbeth and I'm a Danish abstract mixed media artist who likes to do all sorts of things. I like to do slow stitching and collaging in both fabric and papers and jelly printing, mixed media and book constructions and altering books and all these kinds of things. So if you're into that, you have come to the right channel and again, a warm welcome to you. So here to the next spread. This is where I will start today. And I have five spreads I need to do today. And then I will do some nursing and beauty things on things I don't think work here on, on the pages as they are, such as white spots and uh, Perhaps I need, need some black lines and so on. But I will do that at the end of the video on in the whole book. But let us uh, start with this spread. And I have found these two mushrooms or fungi I want to have on these pages here. And then I have found these bluish papers. Uh, I think the, the book needs a little blue something too. And... I think this would look nice there, like this. And then I have this bluish paper. So I will just take my ruler and cut that off there. And I think that would look nice there, that fungi. And again, I have this here yeah, I can try to see how that looks something there and perhaps that could be this blue part here yeah I think this works yeah let us glue that down but um, the Last thing I will glue down in this is this one, and then is, it is this one, and these two doesn't matter how I take if I take this the one on the other, but I will just cut that edge clean there, and I will don't go right up to the but a little away so it is better for the box to be open and closed and again a good amount of glue and uh, I have a little time to to work before it dries and then I will just glue the other things on and then I can show them to you so done with the gluing here on this side and I have also glued these papers down here and you can see there's a little space here with no paper on and um, yeah there is no rhyme or reason why I have chosen some bluish colors 
others and I like to have different colors on my spreads because I know it doesn't look like this out in the real nature but uh, I think this could need a little um, silver perhaps and I have some of these papers here so I can give it a little extra here like this and you really have to be careful with this kind of papers. I think it is called just paper. It is something they use uh, in China for uh, for celebrating. I don't know what they are using them for, but they look like this. Uh, yeah. So don't put that it down on a, a sticky surface because then the silver will stick on the sur surface and and not here on the paper so like this and then I can put my funky fungi or what it is called on here now it's yeah I think I want it like this and burnish it down so and then I will cut the edges clean isn't anything to cut there. It is only here. Like this. Perhaps since this has a little silver there, I think I should put a little silver on that side too. So let us do that. Just a little extra. And I think I will put it up here in this one. You find a clean spot here on my gluing paper. It is a quite brittle paper, this here, so you have to be a little careful. Yeah, like this. Just dab it. Yeah, that was a nice spread, I think. If I should try to tell a little about my thought process, it in this case it goes something like like this. I found these two fungi here. That is a a little reddish, palish. The color, as far as I remember, when I cut this one out. It was called peach fungi and that is translated directly from Danish so probably it would have another name in, in English but it has this peachy color and the next thing I do is to go through all my papers and, for, and find papers I think will look nice. With, uh, with these two images, you can see something like this. That is how I, I often start my collages. So I will uh, tear a little of these papers out and uh, show you the layout. So I have torn these strips, three strips, and I will glue them on so they all have different widths. That is gets the most exciting collage and then I think I will place this one here and I like that the head or the top of the funky go, goes in over here and perhaps I have this paper I don't know if I will put a little strip of it in somewhere to break it a little up perhaps something like this I think that could be nice. So I'm satisfied with that. So the other spread, 
think it would be a little too much to put it like this. They are too close. They are from the same paper. So I think I will turn it this way and put it there. And then I have these two pieces of paper. I think look nice. And I can't quite figure out if there will be a little hole here somewhere. But again, I think I will take a little snippet of this also in this collage and perhaps put it there or there. I don't know that yet. And then I will place this. Yeah, this is down here. And then I will place it up here like this. And I think that looks nice. And you don't need to see me gluing this down. You have seen me gluing so much down. So uh, I will just glue it down and cut it clean and then I will show it to you. So this is how it ended and it is a little girlish perhaps after this. It perhaps this was a boy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think it turned out quite nice. You can see it isn't much paper I use. Uh, in these small collages but it is nice i have so many things to choose between and again i think that what it makes this exciting is that this has this width and this is smaller and then this is again a little bigger and uh, these two are different in sizes and then there's a stripe this way instead of all, all these three stripes the strips have has been the the same width it wouldn't have been so exciting to look at so on to the next spread again i have decided to use these two small fungi here and i have take these papers out i think could look nice and this is how i will do it i think below what i will use in this spread and uh, I would rumble a little around and then I will show the layout to you. So this is how it is ended up. And when I was done with it, I think there was missing something. And then I had a circle with some acemic writing or perhaps it is real writing. I can't remember. It is from a something I have a copy of from perhaps it was a picture I had taken with my phone on a something from the newspaper and then i have saved it on my camera roll and then i put it into a word document and printed it out and then i can use it as much as i like but i think color wise it looked nice here so that was a nice spread too so only two more to go this is what i have taken from my piles of papers, all these brownish, greenish ones, and these two small fungi here. And I think I will see if I can make a spread with them. So let us see here what we can come up with. I have this big piece of paper of paper and I did imagine that I would Use a big piece of it up here, or perhaps like this instead. I think I will do that. So I will tear. tear this and say this is going to be there, and then I have this strip here. I think we can go up under there, something like this, and then again I have this strip here, oh that looks yummy, and then we can put this greenish thing up there, what do you say about that, sorry I can't hear you, but I think it would be like this. <laughs> I will glue it down and be back. So I have glued my papers down and now I want to place these two fungi somewhere. 
and uh, I think there are several options. It could go like this, but it could also go here because there's a kind of line going down there. So perhaps this could look nice there. And I like this round shape and there are some vague marks there, there, there around. So uh, perhaps I think they, this looks nice there. And then there's this greenish thing here. And I think the, I don't know if it's called the stem on a fungi, but, but it almost nearly disappears in here. So when I will do the makeover on some of these papers, uh, when I'm done with the whole book, I think I will give it a, a, a more color there because I think it looks nice if it is sitting there and not there and not there. I th I think I, I like it there. So I will take care of that later. So that is what I will decide to do. So I just, just give it a good uh, piece of uh, amount of glue and go down to the top there. Perhaps it's, yeah. there, I th think. Like this, and then this piece here. I even don't know if some of them are poisonous, but uh, they probably are. Some of them, <laughs> but I, I couldn't tell. And if I went out in the nature, I I wouldn't dare to eat if I had picked some up in from nature. I don't know much about that, so I I would take the risk. So a very nice spread too. And to the last spread, and I think the last spread I will make in my favorite colors. So this is what I have docked up from my piles. This is a piece of, um, yeah, it is a uh, toilet paper. I have stacked and made wet and then worked on it so it goes together. I have made a big bowl of it sometime and I think uh, it's a leftover. And then I have put it, I have so, such a thing where you, when you can make fire outside a fireplace, so a big, big, big bowl, a rusty thing. And I think I put the papers over there and let it dry and this is the rust from the the fire bowl and i think i want to use it and i have a tea back and this is the two mushrooms or yeah this i think this could be a mushroom uh, but fungi and some of these papers here so i will look a little at them and see what i can come up with oh. I have done this side, so I think I will do the last page uh, here, so you can see how I do it. I have this big piece of paper, and I think I want to put it down here. This is, I think, my all-time favorite color. And uh, yeah, it is strings with colors, what it is that makes you like some others, or well, some more than others. It is some, yeah. It isn't something you can explain. I think it is something you feel. That, but it is. It is a really a strange thing. This color and a lovely thing with this color. So here in Denmark, we are blonde and quite pale in our skin and uh, blue eyes. So a lot of. Danish women likes blue and uh, I can tell you that when I had my knitting design small company when I was making uh, I mainly mainly did shawls and ponchos and scarves and mittens and hats and so on but every time I used my favorite color for instance, that one and knitted a shawl in a pattern I have invented myself. 
that wasn't much interested in it. But if I knitted it up in blue, I can tell you all the ladies were there. <laughs> and that is why I know, I think 99% of the Danish women likes blue. It is their favorite color. And then this piece here is a little thicker. So normally I would have taken some uh, gel medium and glued it down, but uh, I won't do it here in this video. I would just take my glue stick and really give it a heavy amount. So I'm sure this piece will be sitting where I want it to be sitting. I will go down here like this. And I really like these frayed edges here. And then as the last, yeah, I'll come a little close here, you can see, but as the last thing, I think I want this strip up here, so I will tear it. And make sure it is a little smaller than this one. And it is. from the, the gutter or the crease. Yeah, I can still close the book and then I will take my cloth and finish it down here and then the last funky. I think I will put it up here like this. is fine and that is a nice spread perhaps it needs a little contrast somewhere like this dark line there it could also need a dark line there or perhaps this yeah 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 this could be nice too just a little extra there and perhaps there I'll do it over here first, I think. A little bling bling could never harm anybody. And it lifts the piece a little with a little contrast there, with the black and uh, just a little one there like this I will cut the edges off and uh, then I will find my Karen dash and I will just show you how I nurse my size where there's something I ain't so happy about. So done with the whole book. So now my plan is to go over every page and uh, see if I can do something to make it even prettier or give it a little more oomph. Um, yeah, and see if there's something I want to correct or so. And uh, on the front page here, I don't think there's anything. I will do uh, not very much to this, but a little perhaps there. And um, I've tried taking a white piece of paper here so I can always see. Is this the color I think I want there? And you can do it differently. You can do it like this and put paint or water on it. This is a water brush or you could just put your brush on the current dash here number two and then paint. It isn't 
my purpose to to cover anything up but if there is something that i there is too white i would like to to give it a little not much but just a little these candaces number two and they are water soluble and luckily you can buy them uh, one by one instead of a box where you get colors you perhaps don't like so i have bought mine in the, the colors i like so I, I just keep them here in a little bowl or cup or what you can call it so i think this was what I needed to do on this page and when, if I look at this page I like it but I think it is somehow a little pale so I think I will do some black lines and um, I have a stabilo all here and when I and that is also water soluble and when I put water on it it really turns black so uh, if you're not sure if this is what you want, be a little careful with it. And you can see here now when I put my water brush on it, it goes really black. And if you think it's too much, you can always take your fingers and smear it a little out. And I would do the same here on this side here so you can smear it a little and that that wasn't much i was doing but i think it it does a, a, a big difference and uh, you could of course oh, <laughs> also do it there if you want to but um, I don't think I want to do that but I have a, a gold pen here perhaps I could give it the white edges here a little gold like this and perhaps a little there yeah and then there was the white spots again, I don't like. So again, I will take this. In fact, this, I don't know if it is Naples yellow or what it is called. Sahara yellow it is called. It is quite good fixing things because it, it really melts into the other colors so that's nice i think this is all for this spread here so take a look at the next one here oh that wasn't the next one this is the next one and i think there is a lot happening here so perhaps a black line there and a black black line there and I don't even think I will wait, wait it here. I will just make it as it is here. You could perhaps do a little. Down here. Where there are some whites. Yeah, you can see I hit the black line and then it immediately turns black. And uh, yeah, that is the way this is. Perhaps I can find one who's a little more yellow. But don't overdo it because 
there's something nice about those marks. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a little one up here. That I don't like. So there, I think this is okay now. And there is this one. And here it is obviously to make a black line here as the horizon line. And I can see this needs a little more glue. This typically, typically happens when it has been sitting there a little, then the places there isn't glued co correct down will flap up a little and then just give it a little more glue. went a little black here and here I don't, don't mind it is it is strong and again I will take my yellow one and now there's black on here so that remember to dry your pencil uh, not your pencil your brush off I have, think I have told you before why I always say it wrong. That's because in Danish, this is a pencil. And this is, no, in English, this is a pencil. And in Danish, this is a, a brush. So, um, yeah. It is a little difficult for me to remember. 99% of the times I think I say it wrong. Yeah, I think that it was all this spread needed. And this spread here. Boop, boop, boop. I don't think it needs much. Perhaps just here where there's white. And again, I will dry this. Color off. So here, yeah. That is all I want to do in this spread. And the next one here, yeah. I also think this could need some black lines, but where? Perhaps all the way down here. If you don't like to use a stabilo all like this, you can also take a marker or a, 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 a yeah, what is it called? Um, Posca pen or so. This paper is really strange. I wonder, I can't remember how I made it. It is quite rough. Perhaps I have, I have wrote gesso on it uh, or something like that. It feels like that. It was also a little hard to get this glued down there. So, and here I think I just want a black line here. So you can perhaps hi highlight these there are there and there also a one there and a little mark there what can I take a light brown And 
this one is okay and this one is okay. So satisfied with that and here we come to this one it is quite pale so again I think I would do black lines here This way, like this, and clean my brush. Perhaps we can give it a little more color there, but which one? Oops, also here. It nearly looks like gold, but uh, it isn't. Uh, I don't think it is. Maybe it's yellow golden okra. was all I wanted to do with this spread and then we come to this one so again black lines and there I think I talked about giving that another color so it didn't and uh, doesn't look so much like the stem or perhaps I can give this stem a little more I put on there. Let me see how this green is. Yeah, I think this is it. Is this is better? You can see the stem better. Fine, 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 fine. I don't know why I like these lines so much, but I do. I think it, it isn't much you're doing, but it just gives it that little extra contrast like this and wipe this off and again yeah, no not that yellow the light yellow here
Yeah, I think this is fine too. Yeah, and here, 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 what I, oh, 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 yeah, do I want to do anything here at all? I will give it a little thought and look at this one. I don't know if you can remember I made this spread in the first part. And I think there was missing something, so I have glued these two. It's a quarter of a circle out. And this can definitely use some black lines. So I will give it a black line down here. It is quite pale, this spread here. So, make it a little thicker, this black line. There. And here I think I want to do it on the other side. Here. Here. Oh, and on the other side, but do it horizontally, horizontally, horizontally. Yeah, oops. I think I I make my own words sometimes in the neck of knowing what they, what I should say, or what it is called by a professional speaking English person. That was much better. Uh, perhaps this, if I can see if I have a color, a little like this, yeah, it isn't quite that color. But it gives it a little extra color. Do it here too. Yeah, I think this was a little better. It was quite pale. And I, it, is, it isn't that I don't, I don't mind something is pale, but I think it needs contrast in some way. And then there's the back side and this white edge I really don't like. So I can give it a color so you can't see it or I can make it black so you can see it. And that is perhaps what I will do. And again I will just clean that from the Turquoise. I don't mind that's a little white, but this screaming white edge I didn't like. And again, I think I will take, where did I put it here, yeah, the gold? Did I put some gold here at the front page? No, I didn't. So, yeah, I think I will let it be as it is. And then there was this spread, there's a mark here I don't like. So much I can see in the dark. Take this one. There. Perhaps there's a line here I can make it with a gold line here. Fatter or bigger. Perhaps there's a 
perhaps get this a little like this yeah I think this is it because it, it isn't mark making as such uh, I'm doing because I can uh, I can start to make small circles and crosses and doodles and everything but I think it would take the focus from the funky and that isn't my purpose with it and you can keep on doing this for a very long time you, you keep seeing things you didn't see the first time so but i think i will stop here and then i will take some close-ups at the end of the video while i'm doing this flip through i want to thank all of you who lately has subscribed to my channel a big big thank you for that and for those of you who just sneak peeks uh, please consider subscribing that would be very helpful of you and I would appreciate it very much. The same for the thumbs up. I know I I don't like to ask these things or say these things. It, it, it isn't me. But uh, it's the only way we can push our videos out so more people can see them. And um, I am not doing this because I want to earn money. Because I have chosen not to earn money here on my channel because I would like to teach and I like to give for people the opportunity to, to see this for free. And uh, it is my goal to, to earn money on this channel. And I also want to be able to use whatever product I like to use without being with, I, I, I want to be able to say whatever I, my meaning of, of it is. So that is why I have chosen to do it like this. But um, the more thumbs up and the more subscribers, the more the videos will be pushed out for, to other people. And uh, I think that would be nice. Yeah. I think this is a lovely spread, but again, it's because of the colors. And there's this bluish one. And uh, the, you can see the book is, is quite sturdy, uh, sturdy and it lies flat. And um, for the, those of you who just want to, to see the book construction, go and see part one. And of course, you could put anything in your book, what, whatever you like to put in it. It is totally up to you. Uh, fill your books with what you want this was just what i wanted to do this time so um i will say bye bye for now take care and be creative until next time bye bye